Ladies and gentlemen, it is leak season for Call of Duty because Infinity Ward had changed their profile picture and banner over on their Twitter account, and this image is extremely dark, and so if we brighten it, you can see that the character Ghost is behind a staircase, and you could probably also make out that there might be one or two other operators in this image as well, but it's really hard to tell in all honesty. The best thing that we can tell for sure is that there's a staircase and that Ghost is behind that staircase, assuming that this is actually going to be a screenshot from the trailer for Modern Warfare 2, the sequel to Modern Warfare 2019, it means that we are just so close to actually finally unlocking this trailer and seeing what Infinity Ward has up their sleeves for the next Call of Duty title. We have actually been getting a lot of different leaks throughout the year relating to Modern Warfare 2 content, like for example, I remember there are a leak being about the campaign and how it's going to focus around drug cartels, which is something that you don't really see Call of Duty touch on too often, so I think it's going to be really unique for this game to have something like that. But we did get some more recent leaks for Modern Warfare 2 from the Ghost of Hope over on Twitter, who has been credible in the past for prior leaked information for the Call of Duty series, and he put out two different tweets, one of them saying, ACR and Intervention return to Modern Warfare 2. And then in his second tweet, he said that all weapons are only going to be getting five attachments, just like what we see within Modern Warfare. And so starting with the ACR intervention here, of course, these are extremely nostalgic and popular weapons from the OG Modern Warfare 2 game, and they were very powerful weapons. Personally, I wasn't a huge fan of the intervention, but the ACR is definitely a monster of an assault rifle, especially for a game like Modern Warfare 2. And then of course, weapons only having five attachments, I think is quite interesting. I personally don't mind this too much. I think Vanguard went a little over the top having 10 attachments, and so I'm always spending like so much time creating my class and like trying to figure out the right attachments to use but five attachments makes kind of your decisions a little easier but I guess harder in a way because you don't have that freedom to like use whatever attachment slot you want but nonetheless just like Modern Warfare in Modern Warfare 2 you're only going to have five attachments uh, available for each weapon which I guess is a good thing the one thing I do want to say is that like one like I am not a huge fan of Modern Warfare and so I really hope they improve upon the whole gunsmith an attachment system they have within Modern Warfare 2. Okay, great. I'm glad we can only use five attachments, but can we like not have most of the attachments decrease your move speed and ADS speed and stuff like that? Because that's like one of the reasons why so many people camped in Modern Warfare was because how much the attachments actually slowed you down. And so I really hope they do approve upon that within the gunsmith for this game. Throughout the next week or so, we're probably going to be getting a lot more teasers from Infinity War teasing Modern Warfare 2, so just make sure you guys are keeping on the lookout to see what else they're going to be teasing leading up to the reveal trailer, which should hopefully happen within the next two weeks. I mean, I there's no really like concrete information on when we're going to be getting a trailer drop, but I imagine within the next two weeks this is going to happen, so just hold your horses and make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel for updated information on Modern Warfare 2 teasers and, of course, official information. And, of course, like the video if you enjoyed it and found it helpful and I shall catch you guys later.